Okay, so we're, we're trying this uh, concept again of doing the rewatch of the videos, and this time I'm doing with the um, the lacklist list, uh, the, the even weirder one. I'm playing with free lighting Bose main deck instead of a couple of cards, and I'm testing the Cabal Therapies as well. Uh, so here I'm just gonna show you the deck list. I'm show how we are sideboard for the matchup, and then we go straight through the games, no stops. Um, we're playing against uh, slow depths. So the game one, they him me, hinge Torak, they smallpox, they cast Liliana and Loam and Raven's Crime, get rid of all my lands and hand, and eventually kill me with Loam and Tespian Stage and uh, Dark Depths. So game two and three, I cut out the Lightning Bows for Half Stronghold, Goblin Coercion, and a couple of Therapies and Therapist. If I had a Sting Scourger, I think I would keep the Stronghold for uh for the Grave Hate and Vorak uh, Surgical Extraction and. Battle Cooper Genitus, a couple of Needles because they're insane against their deck, Caracas because they Martyrs Lage is the legendary creature, and Yurgis Cut to get rid of either the combo pieces or um, their Gloms and most of their engine. So let's just run through the games. So start with game two. Game one, yeah, it's what I said, it's not very relevant. Game two, I just keep control hand that has Vile, which is amazing. So I have response for creatures, I have response for dark taps, I have response for uh, Martyr Lage, and Trash Monster is good because it kills Mox Diamonds, there we go, one. And yeah, Obdra Domain, a good body, and a Lord. So here, I don't want to lose my hand if I don't have to, and I want to give them, I want to use my mana and give them uh, more more targets for a decay or something, so I name Lillian of the Veil, I don't want them playing that already. They Entomb for another spirit, with they have right now, um, but this doesn't do anything. And here I make a mistake of playing the Nido, not of playing the Nido, but of naming Tespian Stage, because the most scary card that I can kill, so I can expert probably the Nether Spirit eventually, and then my turn wording is a bit tricky, but I just get they, they try to blow up me eventually, and yeah, I don't think this was correct. So I draw another Vio, play another Vio, I don't need to flash in the Expert, I'm in a control situation, they're just attacking me for two, I do not care about my love total all that much, so I'm no interest in blocking or trying to kill this to deny two or four damage. So Violin Matron, and here... What do I go for? Yeah, I go for Ringleader, because what I want to do is cantrip and start and keep chipping in damage. Trash Master is amazing because it kills a land and diamond, and I can flash in creatures to kill those things as well and give me more bodies. So I just want to keep the train going. And here, it I think is really, really cool as well that I keep on attacking, because if they try to block, I can violate the Trash Master and blow up two of their things. Uh, I and that would be a free for one that would probably be very good because I wouldn't sack the trash master to kill anything, but if they have a removal spell I can sack it in response. And then go into three uh, mana sources instead of five, it's very relevant. They don't block, so I don't go for the damage. And and also I don't play the ringleader because of combat because it just adds a bit of damage. Um, I can violate an expert, but I would get a blowout with a removal spell from their side, uh, making me have a, uh, only two goblins in play, and then factory can uh, pump itself. So yeah, there's no point. I'm, I'm not losing the game fast, so I can control the game a bit more. And ringleader is very good coming down on their end step, so I'm not interested in blocking again. Uh, because it dodges their mana, so last turn they didn't use any of their mana, which is great for me. So I'm I'm eventually gonna win the race because I'm spending four mana per turn and then I'm gonna start spending five mana per turn because this got me a weird squad and more because I have another vial. So if things continue like this, I'm great. So now I attack and they block. So the options here are violin uh, trash master. I could play the expert as well. The reason why I don't is because they have three mana available. So I and they haven't made. Ah, uh, it's my turn. So they so I could. Um, expert the factory and try to kill it and then blow up the Mox Diamond so they no I, it wouldn't work so what I'm trying to say I don't want to commit to the board more than I have to so I want to spend my my weakest card to deal with their cards so if I if I go Trash Master and Expert kill these two and their turn to just deluge me I'm in a very bad situation 
So I don't want to do, I mean, decently bad because I have a matron and a virus, but I don't want to do that. So what I do instead, and I'm winning the race again, I just sack matron for, for that. And then they try to do the blowout with the card that I forget, which is plus stone. That if, if they had that a couple of turns before, that would have been very bad for me. But I guess they were wasting, waiting for a good opportunity to use that. So yeah. Uh, so this happens, um, I do not kill the mocks because again I value my creatures and I value my my spells and they go on Totsies, I do not respond because I think that they're going to use Bloodstone and they use Bloodstone. So activate the vial and they don't realize that I have 12 damage on board already. So expert kills the creature, everything I have died, Munition Expert comes in play and then in my turn War Wings being my own 2-2 uh, two, two, to create two 2-2s two, two, with haste, because that is how War and Weirding work, which most people don't know about, which is great. So they take 12 damage and they're basically dead, especially with the reanimate getting Matron or getting the Expert to do basically whatever the hell I want. So the space is just concede. So yeah, I think they feel like how playing control is really really cool and important. So game game two, uh, I give this hand, but I I don't think I should, but I'm just laying casual, so so I go for it. It loses to Totsies, it loses to so many things to decay, but if I draw a land, it's great. So I go and draw not a land yet, but I have the vial going up. Morgo Marshall into Mons into Cranko, it's amazing. So here. They, they entomb, and I think, oh, I can just surgical that. That doesn't do anything. That takes 10 turns to kill me. I do not care about that. So, really important to prioritize. And, and I can eventually block, I can eventually kill that as well, as many times as I want. And I have a relic. If I draw mana, I can eventually get to a situation where there is the graveyard, and I can kill it. So, no point in surgicaling that. So, uh, God, yeah, Mountain comes into play. I start, I, I don't go for Needle, it's better to go for Relic and start eating their, their graveyard slowly. Uh, because if they just Liliana, I can discard the Zerg squad, which is not a big problem. Um, okay, so they attack and, and kill my... So, so this is a bit cool like, as well. So they kill dead, which is fine, and I don't block, because I don't care about this damage. I Again, I want to combo kill them, and that's what I'm aiming for. To eventually get Pashalik Mons and Slinking Lieutenant and just kill them. And that's probably gonna happen in Cranko. And if I get this two as well, they're probably dead because they either have to block or they have to kill my creatures, which would probably just kill them. So this is awesome. And, and they go and they cast that, that card, Collective Brutality, and this card loan. So then I go and yeah, yeah, that loan is not staying here. They have one in hand and I now they only have Liliana. So I know they have Liliana and I have a needle. So I go like, okay, it's Needle Lilian, and I don't care much about the Factory or the Nether Spirit. I can, and they can kill my 1-1s, one I don't care, that would just deal damage to them if Pashalik Mon stays on the table. So, do not care about that. Give them another draw step, um, and I attack, because again, the damage is important on them, and in me, not so much. Uh, and they stop attacking, which is great for me. So instead of I'll draw from the Mons, I go for Matron, because I want to draw a land, uh, I get the sling in my hand already, but I keep fire free because of Pashlik. This turn is amazing. So just eat this. So I'm gonna win in two turns. So this is the crazy part. There are 18. They have two creatures and pit and a dark blast, and I'm gonna win in two turns. So I go and attack with two merely one ones. And they go like, what can happen, right? Oh, and drawing this therapy was very good because because of their Urborg, I have black as well. So keep that in mind. They go and, and block with their free free. So if I'm in Pashlik, Pashlik makes sure that that factory takes another damage. They pump it. I, I know that they have Liliana, so I can just name Liliana. See their other cards as Mox Diamond, sacrifice the token, take their Mox Diamond, kill their factory. So they basically just have free permanence and no cards in hand, which is ridiculous. And my hand is Krenko and Slinging, and they just concede. Going to that spot one turn ago to just winning the game with this few resources, it's 
it's really good. It feels really good. So yeah, uh, this shows a bit of the power, I think, of this version of the deck, which I'm really trying to push. Uh, thanks for watching. See if you do anything different and let me know. And again, where is it? The version is just right here. Thanks a lot. See ya.